But, you know, it's an awful, awful thin vest and awful powerful bullet. So just in case the vest doesn't work, I want to make sure that the uh, magazines will stop the, uh, you know, stop the bullet. We'll just look this up here, I guess. That's it. Again. Make sure it's uh, stopped. Here. It's like you're in trouble, yeah, Richard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess we better uh, hope the uh, best works here, I guess. Uh, right <laughs> Don't blow anything by it. It's the 175th time I've done this on, on the average. Uh, every time I do this, we save about three and a half cops. This does not mean if I don't do this, three and a half guys are going to die. They're, they're, you know, tomorrow three and a half guys are getting saved. Or if I do it twice, we save seven guys. But in the long run, it seems to, way, it seems to be the way it works out. We're going to shoot about a couple inches away from the shot I already got there. And uh, kill another myth that the vest is no good once it's uh, been shot. Okay. For those of you guys with the still cameras, I'll go three, two, one, bam. Okay. <coughs> You can't believe the concussion is coming this way. It's bad enough out that way, but. Okay, 44 Magnum, black talent, six inch barrel. We could use a four, but uh, we'll use a six, a little more velocity. 175. And this is dedicated to those guys who are gonna be shot and we don't know who you are. Three, two, one, 